despite a dominant tour back in 2022 around New Zealand, it seems like you lot are done with the Irish dominating New Zealand rugby because they're back and they're back to try and take out the super rugby champions, the Crusaders. What's going on everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby in the one of what a series where once again we feature Ireland and they are back to take on the Crusaders. Yes, we saw them deal with the All Blacks last year, but can they do the same to the cream of the super rugby crop? Today's request is coming at you from flanker 256. A big thanks for your requested match, sir. And if you want to get yours in the list to be coming here on the channel, you can leave it in the comment section below. Anything weird, anything wonderful, anything specific, or anything different, leave it in the comment section and your matchup could well be the next we bring to here on the channel. But today, it's Ireland, it's the Crusaders. Let's see what these two teams can bring together. Of course, we know what the Irish side brings, but the real battle I'm excited to see it's all around this back row. We know what the Irish do. Armani, Van der Flyer and Doris, those guys are exquisite at their trade. But I think the Crusaders are one of those rare teams around club rugby that certainly knows how to combat it. Cullen Grace at number eight, Tom Christie on the upper side flank, and Ethan Blackadder on the blind side. Now, as far as club sides go, this is one of the best back rows going around. Where they may struggle is this kind of combination with those non-all black players. The guys like Mitch Drummond especially is that weak link throughout that back line in such a critical position could that be somewhere where Conor Murray and co take over for the Irish. Expect fireworks in the rest of this back line though. We've got plenty of ability. James Lowe, Lester Whanganuku, of course Hanson and Simi Reeves. And don't forget about Will Jordan and especially Hugo Keenan, who has been in an impeccable form recently for this Irish side. On the bench, we may not see these guys come into action, but there is plenty about these fellows as well, especially for the Irish. A lot of guys here, uh, Ian Henderson especially, would consider himself unlucky enough to be starting Conan in 20, as well as guys like Byrne and Aki in 22 and 23. We've got lots of ability for the Crusaders. Look out for 17, Tamanti Williams. Love seeing him, and of course, another All Black on the bench, Fletcher Newell in 18. And look out for the experience of Willie Hines in 21, back from England, and looking to come back home to the Crusaders. Another All Black, Brad Newell, and of course, George Bridge, where the 22 and 23 jumpers. We are all set for kickoff, and if you're unfamiliar with these two sides, if you live under a rock, especially, it's Ireland in the green, the Crusaders, the red and black, as we're underway. Ireland kicking off Advantage. through Tony Sexton, and instantly knocked on from Tom Christie. Opportunities sparking straight off the opening whistle here for the Irish. As they trundle their way into the 22, waiting for it slowly to come back as Tide Byrne. He will pick and he will go through Advantage Grace over. and a couple of others. Advantage is over for Ireland. It's an easy run away. Massive meters there. Here's Murray. Little pick and go from the scrum half. He leaves it for Zoris. Here's a little stab. And Ireland. Oh, looking to take over, but it's stolen by the Crusaders and instantly knocked on. Jack Goodhue, the steal. And now Ireland have advantage back again. Sexton turns around the corner. And this time, James Ryan. Straight to contact. He goes, Murray! On the outside, gets away from the would be chase of Mitchell Drummond, who eventually brings it down. Here's Omani. Right on the 22 now, Ireland. Looking to step up again. Down there, 10 wing. Bellum numbers the support. Pops it back to Keenan. And he's taken down seven metres short. Murray. Now they open with some width, cutting back towards the forwards and James Lowe intercepts the ball that was meant for a much bigger man. Short side again, great tackle. Beautiful Warren Carvili thundering down the tackle on Omani. Now it's Release. run from Byrne once more. Couple of minutes lost, short side, Pelham changed directions, back to low. Murray. Well, this is going to be a turnover for the Crusaders. They had numbers that break down very fast. But Rob Herring. Opens up Bellum again. We've seen him a lot. Up from fullback once more. Hugo Keenan. Bellum again. He's taking over this game. There's the tight end prop. A little bit slow to come back for Murray this time. Sexton standing very flat. Oh, Murray beats one. Takes on Will Jordan. Murray just shots. 
Can they get this over the line? Omani up and goes to Porter. And he's dominated the tackle from Bauer. That's a sensational pass. And over goes Herring. Ireland take first blood. It was always coming. The mistake of the kickoff, the turnover, and the mistake again. It was all possession to the green of Ireland. This pass was abuse. Heavy hit there on Porter, that second wave. Goodyear driving down on the tackle alongside Tom Christie. There was no stopping the hard running hooker. Just carried them over the line, short range. Just two meters out and he made it look easy. Here is Sexton. Nice simple one, just to the left of the uprights. And he slots it through, it is seven points to nil. Ireland leading early over the Crusaders. It's just what they would have liked to do as well. Starving the Crusaders of possession, starving them of opportunities. And of course, territory goes right along with those two things. Here is Richie Moanga getting us back underway. First foray into the Irish half. And straight away, they look to attack Ryan. Hard work, but turn over from Bauer. Opportunity here for Goodhue. And this is going to be a massive turnover. Low, busting through the would-be tackle of Reese and another in companion there. Mitchell Drummond swept aside. James Lowe's power, often underrated. Murray opens it to the right-hand side. And now they get a little bit of room through the midfield of Stuart McCloskey. Murray again. Back to the short side of Sexton. He's looking for a kick here. He's going to put it straight down the throat of Will Jordan. Of course, the rain is going to be a massive factor today as both sides looking to force heroes out of the other. A couple of switches of play before Hearing takes it up and burn! All tight burn! Dummy through everyone, finding Sexton in support. And a good tackle from Ethan Blackadder. Just gets him down inside. Advantage. Now burn knocks on. And Sevi Reese, well, he's cleaned it up beautifully as Reese Moanga. Now's the chance to stop Baron fighting Lester Fanganuku up against Keenan. He goes one and off right inside. And David Harvey will bring the Crusaders right back in the game. Just like that. A snap of a chance. And the Crusaders make Ireland pay. Seven reads. He was the one that he initiated the attack. And look at this from Lester Faganuku. Sensational work to take the tackle of Keenan, but still find that pass against the running distance, against the grain, and somehow finding the waiting hands of David Harvey. Such a difficult pass when you're running to your left, to fire it to your right, and that's what he did. And Richie Moaga. Well, a far cry from some recent episodes with Kamrosha kicking early on at seven points apiece as neither number 10 has missed a beat so far. Well, I've seen two very contrasting styles here so far. Ireland happy to grind it out the forwards. Whereas the Crusaders, smack bang and slappy happy, they get the points on the board with very little opportunity. Here is Christie. It's a nice little drop off there to Cullen Grayson. Now up from fullback as well. Jordan out to the left hand side of Rixi Moanga. Can he link up? Find an open cut back inside. Police. It's not quite there for them. There's a massive hole for David Harvini. And he's got two in the space of five minutes. Harvini grabs a second. And the Crusaders show possession is king. And of course, it's what you make of it. The chance is here. Few and far for the Crusaders, but I tell you what, give them a little bit and they will take full seven. A couple of lapses defensively from Ireland. Just like that. Again, much like the first try. A couple of phases is all it took. Crusaders are in again. Richie Moanga slots over the extra two. This is a great comeback from the Crusaders. Down 7 0 early. They've fought back very swiftly with two cracker chances to put two Cabrera tries on the board. Well, it looks so rosy. 
about 15 minutes ago for Ireland. That's the kickoff from Sexton, not taken on the initial bounce. This is their left for Oliaga, who just gets it in the nick of time. Advantage. Oh, that's knocked on from Drummond, and it's going to be shut down from Whanganuku. Errors from the Crusaders number nine, Mitch Drummond. Expect a bit better than that. Why well, took that run? It was a good tackle from Sexton too. Crouch. Fortunately for Ireland, find. they went for a little scoop up run. Didn't quite work. Set. We'll have to set it up with a scrum instead. Oh, this is an even battle. Oh my goodness me, it's hardly moving. What a scrum. Murray puts a little grubber behind. No one's home. And Will Jordan says that is enough of that from Ireland. And a massive opportunity goes begging as Connor Murray just definitely gives the ball away. But tell you what, take a look at these stats. 14-7 the score, Crusaders lead. But they have had less than 30% of possession and territory. Yet somehow they've come away with two cracking tries to put themselves in the front. Three handing errors to one as well. They're making all the errors, but somehow it is that ability to finish chances that is really coming to the fore so far tonight for the Crusaders. Richie Moanga gets us back underway, and Omani Spender drinks it in. Beyond nicely from Byrne, and now the chance for Lowe. He's got Sexton with him, chooses not to use him. Goes late, Omani down the sidelines, rumbling his way up towards the 22. Ireland, the second chance here, hearing. Simple face play. Murray, oh that's a deceptive little move there from Connor Murray. Swings away from Drummond, but a good tackle from Cody Taylor brings him down. Burn. Tries to fight his Release. way through the tackle of Richie Malanga. Advantage. Right, the oh, it's stocked on from Omani. Now the Crusaders. This is where they're most dangerous. Severi slips inside. That's the average player, Bears Blackadder. Has to make something out of it. Drummond. Well, that's got to be offside, doesn't it? Surely. Surely that is offside. He just got up from a tackle. Play on the call. From Andor's knocked on. Cody Taylor. Too hot to handle on that occasion. Crouch. Fine. Crusaders obviously bringing it back Set. now for the initial knock on from Omani. The scrum put in from Drummond. A lot better for the Crusaders. Players in motion, looking for position. Going around to Rex and now Harvini straightens it up. Doesn't make too much ground with that play. Drummond again as we near towards the hour mark and there's a high shot coming in from the big number eight, Cannon Torres. Oh, that's a get out of jail free card for the Crusaders who really were struggling to put themselves in a better position. Malanga finds such, and he had to as well. The home fans happy with where their team sits currently, leading by seven over Ireland. Would love if they could make it another seven or three or five or anything at this stage. Stolen in the middle of the line outs. Big game play there from James Ryan. And the Irish, Maul in the back of their big second rower. Murray, Sexton. Now give us some width, James Solomon to midfield, how's the pace of Lowe? He's up against Shawnan, gets the pass away perfectly to Gary Ringrose. And Ireland finally strike back. Oh, James Lowe has been threatening on the left wing time after time. But this was right in the spot he wanted. Severis had to stay wide and eventually Lowe committed both Jordan and Reese and left this man, Ringrose, completely unmarked, unguarded for full reward. Game on again. Crusaders, they were with a chance of giving themselves a comfortable lead. Now it's all tied up thanks to the boot of Sexton. How will this one be decided? 14 apiece. It's Ireland and the Crusaders continue on for another 20 minutes. This one is tied at tense. Both sides have shown the ability to put points on the board. Ryan opens it up. Doris got a little bit away to Lowe. Lowe getting away from Trump and that's a great tackle. Mitch Trump 
Holland. Finally getting something on the side as running into touch now goes Omani. A bit of a sad end to a very long and very good passage of play throughout the second half. Cody Taylor to throw. Oh, he's completely lost his marbles there and it's easily plucked out of the skies from James Ryan. Ring rose through the bat. And now Mac Hansen shrugs off Harvey Will Jordan puts him down, but it's Ireland on the front foot now. Just over halfway, Will Jordan quickly running back. It's for the flyer. Tries to get through with a good tackle again. Mitch Drummond really coming to play in the second half. Herring fends away, one would be tackler. Ryan off the offload. Scampers his way another five metres. Murray, oh, heavy tackle on Murray. Richie Moanga. Putting Colin Murray to ground. And the Crusaders here, they've, they've plucked it away. Big steal, and a big offload to eat them back at her. They need to find Lester Fainuku. They can only find Wynlock. What a pass to Jack Goodhue. Who saw that? No one, no one except for Sam Wynlock. That's who saw it. And he put it on a dime. What a pass. Here he is, Whitelock, dropping it off nicely to Blackadder. Back to Whitelock, watch this. Outstanding pass to the right. Such a difficult pass to make. And an outstanding try for the Crusaders who have shown yet again just how good they are at putting something on the board when you least expect it. 70 minutes in, Richie Moanga. Adds the vital extra two as the Crusaders lead goes back up to seven. And they lead 21-14. Well, this just goes to show that super rugby continuity of the Crusaders coming out to shine here. Cody Taylor grabs it in and this could be lost very quickly. No, oh, good work by the Crusaders. Excellent from Cody Taylor to hang on. Drummond goes to midfield of Harvey. Oh, he almost dropped it off there to Tom Christie. Drummond again. Spotting room. Spotting seven rings. He's got Goody on the inside. He can't find him. Oh, great defense from Hugo Keenan. Absolutely sublime from the Irish fullback. And he may have just kept his team alive in this game. It was a two on one overlap. Good here was clean in. But Keenan has shut that down. Ryan takes the line out. Oh, the Crusaders. So dominant at the breakdown here. Big turnover. Bauer. Oh, and Moanga. Moanga comes through. Steps around Keenan. Drops off to Tom Christie. And a try. The Crusaders. They'll do it here. And they'll finally end the Ross. They'll take down Ireland. And they'll save a little bit of humanity for the New Zealand rugby. Oh, the rock turnover. So strong. Richie Moana, so good as well. Tried to step through everyone, and to be fair, he did it. Unselfishly offloading to Tom Christie. And with just minutes remaining, putting this one firmly in the hands of the home crowd. They'll love this. A minute to play. Richie Moanga makes it 28 14. And what a game this has been. Ireland striking early. The Crusaders fight back to the lead. They'll allow Ireland back in the game. Since then, though, at 14 14, it has been all the home team. The Crusaders dominating this latter part of the second half and taking this game well and truly home. What a play there! Just ridiculous from Ethan Blackadder. Moonga kicks the touch, and that'll be it. The Crusaders defying logic and taking out one of the best teams, if not the best team in world rugby right now. World number one. Ireland have come here to Orange Theory Stadium to be defeated by the Crusaders. Where did that come from? Top shelf Crusaders rugby. Two tries to four. Ireland through Herring and Ringrose. Sexton 
two conversions to go with them, but the Crusaders have really two. Good you and Christie, the others. And of course, Richie Moanga, four out of four off the conversion tee. It was all about those slim chances and being able to deliver points when you got them. The Crusaders had everything against them. Less ball, less territory, more time in defense, but somehow they turned what little opportunities they had into points every single time. And that's how clinical this Crusaders side can be. So look out in future when they are back in action again. And look out Super Rugby, which gets underway in a few days' time as well. That is it from me today, though. Again, again, much like the last one, I thought would be an easy win for one team. It's turned out to be a cracker of a matchup, resulting in a win the other way. You just don't know what's going to happen here on One Off Water, so do not go anywhere. Tune into future episodes and, of course, make your request in the comment section below. And I'll see you all next time. Company more rugby. Until then, though, thanks for watching as always, and take care.